So, hello friends. Uh, today, we are. I'm going to explain uh, Rolle's theorem. And uh, Rolle's theorem is very important topic because it will give uh, some information about the uh, root of polynomial. How and uh, I will explain later. Uh, so first of all, I am going to uh, define uh, Rolle's theorem. What is Rolle's theorem? Uh, Rolle's theorem. Let f is a function from closed interval a b to r. B a function such that first condition. F is continuous on closed interval a b. Second, f is differentiable on open a b. F is equal to f b. Means value of the function at end of interval equal then there exists at least one point C belongs to open interval A B such that f dash C is equal to zero. This is Rolle's theorem statement. So, uh, for Rolle's theorem, function, if it is defined in domain a comma b close interval, then f must be continuous on close interval a b. f must be differentiable on open interval a b. Why not close? Because it's not required. At end points, differentiability not required here. And third condition is f a is equal to f b. Then, if all three conditions satisfy by F, then there exists at least one point C, where in between A and B, such that F dash C is equal to 0. Means, derivative of the function at that point C, which lies between A and B, is always equal to 0. At least one point must be there. What is its geometrical meaning? So you understand easily. Suppose this is x, this is y. Suppose this is the function. This is your a point. What is the value of the function at a? f a. This is your b point. What is the value of the function at b? f b. C f a is equal to f b whatever value is there same value is there so function is continuous yes because no break in curve in between a and b f is differentiable how no sharp edge is there you know by graph if any sharp edge is there it means function is not differentiable so function is differentiable here and f a is equal to f b. Then what is the meaning? Then there exists at point c, at least one point c, where f dash c 0. What is f dash c 0? f dash means derivative of f. What is means derivative? Derivative means a slope of the tangent. At which point c is equal to 0? A slope is equal to 0 means tan theta is equal to 0. It means theta is equal to 0. It means if you draw tangent at that point, if you draw tangent at C, it is parallel to x axis because theta 0 means parallel to x axis. So that is its a geometrical meaning. What is geometrical meaning? Geometrical meaning means. If f is 
continuous in interval a b f is differentiable f is equal to f b then there exists at least one point c where tangent is parallel to x axis this is their geometrical meaning now so what is geometrical meaning If f satisfies all conditions of Rolle's theorem, then there exists at least one point C. Between a comma b, such that at least one point where tangent is parallel to x-axis. So, my friend, this is the meaning for geometrical meaning. At least one point of C where tangent is parallel to x-axis. What is it's a algebraic meaning. Algebraic meaning means between two zeros of fx. What do you mean? Between two zeros of fx means a and b suppose are zeros of f. Then there exists at least one zero of f dash means its derivative between a and b so note it down so between two zeros of f there exists at least one zero of f dash algebraic meaning between two zeros of f there exists at least one zero zeros of f dash or we can say between two conjunctive conjugative zeros of f dash there at there uh, there exists at most how many zeros one zero of f so again i am repeating between two zeros of f dash there exists at most one zero of f x so uh, this is Rolle's theorem. Now I am going to explain one example how we use Rolle's theorem. So now we do the question uh, verify Rolle's theorem for the function fx is equal to 2x cube plus x square minus 4x minus 2 in which interval minus root 2 plus root 2. So my friends uh, how we use Rolle's theorem or verify Rolle's theorem. So Rolle's theorem uh, we can apply only if it satisfies all three conditions which is given in Rolle's theorem. So what is first condition? Fx must be continuous because it's a polynomial and we know polynomial always with the rational coefficient means integer only so it's always satisfies continuity and differentiability because polynomial always continuous as well as differentiable. Uh, so uh, now we check uh, third condition. What is third condition? What is a value here? Minus root two. What is b value here? Plus root two. So uh, f at a, a means minus root two. What is the value? 
2 x cube x cube means root 2 cube means two root 2 and because minus so minus root 2 root 2 plus x square x square means 2 minus 4 into minus root 2 minus 4 so what is the value minus 4 root 2 plus 2 plus 4 root 2 minus 2 minus 2 plus 2 cancel this is value 0 what is f plus root 2 plus root 2 means 2 into 2 root 2 plus 2 minus 4 into root 2 minus 2 plus 2 minus 2 cancel again cancel value 0 so uh, f minus root 2 is equal to f plus root 2 and both equal to 0 correct so it means by Rawls theorem because it is continuous as well as differentiable and value of the function at end of interval is equal to 0. So by Rawls theorem at least one point C belongs to minus root two plus root two such that f dash C is equal to zero. Now to verify what is our work, just calculate this C value and check if it is lies in between interval, then it is verified. If it is not lies in interval it means it is not verified. So uh, what is f dash c? f dash c is uh, 6c square plus 2c minus 4 is equal to 0. What is the factorization? square so minus two c minus two c minus four is equal to zero six c comma c plus one minus four comma c plus one is equal to zero so six c minus four and c plus one is equal to 0. So, what is C value? Either minus 1 or 4 by 6 means or 2 by 3. Now check. Minus 1. Minus 1 lies in between this? Yes. It lies in between this. 2 by 3. It lies in between this? Yes. 2 by 3 also lies here in between. It means wrong theorem verified. Because C belongs to minus 1 to plus root 2. So, raw zero verified. So, it's so much easy uh, to do. Uh, whatever fx given, first we have to check f must be continuous in close interval, f must be differentiable in open interval and efa is equal to fb. If all three conditions are satisfied, then we can apply raw zero. Correct. And once we apply draw theorem, then how we verify? Just for verification, you have to calculate C value. If C lies in between interval, it means theorem verified. If C does not lie in between, it means theorem is not verified. Correct. Now, uh, I will uh, give you one example uh, where draw theorem we can apply. Suppose fx given. Uh, f from uh, minus 1 to 1 to r 
f x is equal to mod x. Now see, uh, what is f minus 1 value? Uh, what is f1 value? Uh, f is continuous, yes. f is continuous in minus 1, 1. f is not differentiable at 0. You know, because the graph of minus 1 and this is 1. So, at 0, sharp edge is there. Sharp edge is there, it means it is not differentiable there. So at 0 function is not differentiable even though it is continuous and value is same. We can't apply Rolle's theorem here. So uh, to, for, uh, to apply Rolle's theorem just we have to check it satisfies all three conditions or not. If satisfies then do it. So uh, thank you. I hope you understand. Please uh, subscribe the channel and uh, uh, wait for my new uh, uh, next video and uh, because in that I am going to explain how why exactly one real root how exactly one real root we can conclude by using wrong theorem so thank you